Now, before I get to this video, I just want to make it very clear. I am not talking about in sexual submission, okay? I'm not talking about men who want to sexually submit in the bedroom. Yes, it's true. Some very masculine men like to be dominated on that side of the door because they are so dominant in every other part of their lives. They want to do the exact opposite when it comes to their sexuality. But we're not talking about sexual taste or sexual preference. Dare I say we're going deeper than that, no pun intended. I know from the title of this video, this sounds weird. Masculine men don't submit, right? wrong they do submit i know for so long everybody has understood the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine when it comes to intersexual dynamics the feminine submits to the masculine the masculine takes lead and responsibility for feminine and it's only when the masculine provides frame when the masculine provides a safe space that the feminine can manifest itself and ultimately submit to that and this isn't just about men and women because every single person has masculine and feminine inside them we all have it within ourselves our feminine submits to our masculine when we feel safe when we feel that we can be vulnerable we can have empathy compassion sympathy we could be more nurturing we can be more kind more generous but when we don't feel safe it is the masculine side that comes out in us to protect the feminine it is the masculine that tells people no and it very very much often happens with women who have had bad experiences with men when they have shown their feminine to the wrong guy and it wasn't appreciated because maybe the man wasn't true about his intentions she now has a masculine exterior to protect herself and this tends to be when a woman will go through all men are trash face where no man can be trusted where every man is guilty until proven innocent and then she might start to set initial crazy standards for the next guy because of how she was treated by the previous guy and i completely understand the reasoning and logic behind this however this mentality doesn't serve her because you're making the future man of your dreams pay for the mistakes of the previous man so if any person is in that phase they need to go through some healing but what i really want to focus on today is i think that a lot of people and especially women when they hear oh to submit to a man i completely understand why a lot of women would initially be like why do i have to submit to him why do i have to submit to his leadership to his authority to his masculine it's not fair that he doesn't have to submit to anything but that is not true the masculine does submit the masculine submits to morals principles and order the feminine submits to the masculine and the masculine submits to principles and order and i'm not a religious guy but this is why it says in the bible that the wife submits to the husband and the husband submits to god the scripture makes sense because god represents morals god represents principles and represents order is a different type of submission but it's a submission nonetheless when you submit one individual to another you're giving them responsibility that's why if something goes wrong it's not your fault it's their fault why for making the wrong decision however with that position means that they have a say in most things it means that they're the ones who tend to make the final decisions on most things it's not to say that they don't take what you say on board and that's not even to say that they don't sometimes take guidance from you especially in certain environments where you may have more experience and knowledge than they do it's a wise thing to do but ultimately they're the ones who make the decision the masculine submits to principles morals and order being in the position of the masculine being in the position of leadership whether that's the relationship or a enterprise or a company with it comes power that is true however power unchecked creates chaos and creates tyranny creates unhingedness creates uproar and this is a perfect example superman superman is literally one of if not the most powerful fictional being that has ever been created ever and if he wanted superman could literally do what he wants and no one could stop it. If he wanted to destroy a city, he could. If he wanted to destroy the planet, he could. If he wanted to take everything that he wanted, he could. If he wanted to grape a woman, he could. And no one could stop him. There is nothing anyone could do about it. He has the power to. But as a strong leader, as a masculine leader who does submit, he submits to morals and principles, which prevents him from doing all these things. It is the principles and morals that guide him. And that's who he submits his power to for justice so to speak justice is a morality and it's exactly the same with batman in gotham city batman could do anything
anything. He's incredibly intelligent. He's the best detective. He can fight. Not to mention that he's a billionaire. He's Gotham City's richest man. He has all the ability, power and influence a man could need. But this is why when we watch the Batman films, anytime we see him with the Joker, even though he knows that the city would be a better place without the Joker, he knows that having the Joker around is a huge threat to people's lives. He knows that everybody would be grateful if the Joker was 10 feet under. But because Batman submits to his principles and morals, he doesn't and he never will kill the Joker. He can't kill the Joker. Because of what he submits to, it won't allow him to. Thou shalt not take a life. No matter how many people the Joker kills, no matter how many people are threatened by the Joker, cannot kill the Joker because he submits to principles. A man who does not submit to principles, morals, or values is a man that steals, kills, pillages, and rapes is a man that lives life in a complete and utterly self-serving way that leaves nothing but destruction and despair in its wake. The reason I'm making this video is because I want you as a woman to understand you are not the only one who submits. The man and the masculine also submits. The only difference is who or what we submit to. Now, if you're a woman and you are in a position of power, you have people looking up to you and you have principles and morals that you follow, that is you submitting to those things because the masculine does submit. And without submission, power unchecked creates a wasteland of chaos. So if you are ready to attract that strong masculine man who submits to strong principles, morals and values, then enroll in my Claiming Man program below where I show you how to do just that. And as always, keep it slick.